I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Hello YouTubians, here is an original set of 1928 Butterfly Girls. These cards feature um, rebellious young flapper girls disguised in flamboyant butterfly costumes which certainly makes them stand out from your average butterfly cards. Turning things from nature into a human form or anthropomorphism seems to have been extremely uh, popular during um, the Victorian and Edwardian eras. Um, here are some Victorian cards of flower girls issued by Liebig. Anyway, coming back to these cards, the 1920s is co quite often seen as the uh, gateway to our modern world, an exciting uh, transitional point uh, between the old and the new world. Um, the age of innocence had been sh completely shattered in World War I. Out of date class rules and conventions seemed rather futile after the death of millions of brave soldiers in that apocalyptic war. I mean, you compare that with these days, if one or two people die, there's a massive public outcry, isn't there? Anyway, Edwardians might have seen their uh, technological inventions as wondrous toys, but now they finally realised how easily those same curious mechanisms, including uh, propag First World War propaganda itself, could be turned into weapons of mass destruction. Women were making headway with their own war uh, closer to home. Whilst the men were busy fighting for their lives in Europe, the women uh, filled the job vacancies normally reserved for men before the war, helping them explore alternative career paths and opportunities and creating social change. Pandora's box had finally been opened and there was no turning back. This social upheaval inadvertently unleashed revolutions in the cinema, fashion and the arts. And the great thing is that is reflected in cards like these. Steered by an information hungry public and a wave of ambitious backstreet entrepreneurs Cars like these provide us with one of the finest and most entertaining records of the interests and fashion trends of the ordinary people in the early 20th century through a rich collage of beautiful artwork, photography and intricate graphic design. More happened in that century than the rest of human history put together as we went from riding horses to space travel in the blink of an eye. Cars like these were included with as diverse products as um, chocolate, tea, soap and cigarettes. When the motion picture, radio and television were only just starting out. This early form of printed mass media, whose colourful artwork and innovative uh, photography even rivaled none other than newspapers and magazines at the time. Yeah, these cars... Origins date back to 18th century um, tradesmen's cards at the dawn of our great Western culture. And it is even possible to trace a link going back as far as the 15th century Chinese calling cards. The same century that Gutenberg developed the uh, printing press, the original information revolution. So it seems only right to show this historic relic on the next information revolution YouTube videos um, thanks for taking the time to check out this timeless set of cards please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie trade cards in the world on my channel thanks for watching and don't forget to come along to my card museum 
at creamofcards.com. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Creamo Cards TV.